For the purpose of opening engine valves, camshafts are the only way to go today, regardless of the few not production ready solutions, including the Koenigsegg free valve system. However, closing the valves is a different thing and can be tricky to do when it comes to high performance, high RPM engines. In the middle of the last century, metallurgy was not so advanced and valve closing springs could break easily at high revs. This is why back then Ducati decided to go the way of desmodromic valves, but what is it? Instead of the more conventional metal or even pneumatic springs as used in Formula 1, this system uses neither or anything even similar. As we know, cams act on the valves via tappets, pushrods and rocker arms to open them, but here they also close them. There is another rocker arm that pushes on a collar on the valve stem and thus forces it to close. The camshaft, besides the regular opening lobes, also does have another specific pattern to pull them back into its seat. The main advantage of the Desmo valve is no valve float caused by half valve momentum overcoming the spring's ability to close it properly or spring material fatigue as metallurgy was at a much lower level more than a half a century ago. As this technology advanced over time, valve springs are now a lot stronger and more capable thus they can easily outperform the desmodromic drive. It is said that with four or more cylinders it also gets incredibly noisy and they are more expensive to maintain as supposedly hydraulic tappets are hard to use in this system. Thus normal mechanical tappets are incorporated, which require regular maintenance intervals. In short, it is noisy, bulky, complicated, has more moving parts and needs maintenance more often. The desmodromic valve is no new technology at the time. The first patents were made in 1896 by a German Gustav Mees. A couple of manufacturers used it, but nothing major. This became a bigger thing in 1956 when a Ducati engineer Fabio Taglioni designed a new engine. For the aforementioned spring fatigue reasons, he decided to incorporate the desmodromic valve system for that engine. It was a Ducati 125 Grand Prix motorcycle. Ever since then, they have used this technology. The desmodrive is an anachronism today. It is a cool gimmick but similarly to a flathead engine layout, it is not the most efficient compared with other designs. Besides the legendary 90 degree V twin engine, it is the thing for which they are famous. Despite the soon to be discontinued L twin unit, the desmodromic valve is still going to be used within the new V4 engine and Ducati uses it only because they can and want to. Ducati CEO Claudio Domenicali explains, because it is the system we know best. To mention other applications of the Desmo drive, the Mercedes-Benz W196 and the 300 SLR are probably the most popular within the automotive world. Besides those, the Pegaso Z102's V8 engine had it, and Maserati Brothers once created a Desmodromic 2-liter 4-cylinder engine too. Thank you.